And hello again, Internet. Here we are with day four of Final Doom TNT Evolution Wad. Let's go ahead and get this started here. Da -da -da. We'll do that. And we'll immediately save for day three. That's the end of the day three. All right, so here we are. We are fairly deep in the game at this point. I mean, let's see, level 19 out of the 30, so we're still got a couple days to go at the rate we've been go- Oh, hi there. The rate we've been going. I did want to actually bring something up. You've heard me complaining about the enemies, some of the enemies in this game, and it's not- It's not this wad that the enemies are from, it's actually from Doom 2. And the enemies in particular, now you see that door there is supposed to be the exit door, like the entrance door of a map. It's not really supposed to be used elsewhere. Oh well. But the enemies that got added to this are all actually kind of a step up from the ones in the original Doom. Which is kind of what you're supposed to do with upgrading enemies. Now I've complained about the Chain Gunner and he is the one that I will complain about the most because he is a hit scanning enemy that you really can't dodge or avoid which puts him apart from the rest even though yes there were hit scanning enemies in the original Doom they were uh, hello there I have no I can't read that but they were more rare okay so that is actually texture and, um, well, they're not more rare. They're just, they weren't dangerous. The, the shotgunners and the normal soldiers are pretty quick and easy to kill. And while, yes, the chain gunners are ultimately pretty easy to kill as well. Oh, it's, now they've added the UAC symbol to it. Interesting. Well, they are ultimately pretty easy to kill. The chain gunner is a step up from them and does more damage. Like I said, only the boss, the actual endgame boss, had that kind of weapon before. Now, see, that's new also. You have to see the TNT. They always got to put their own TNT logo on everything that they made. I don't know why. That's actually kind of annoying. Of course. Of course. Of course, since I already killed everything, that didn't matter, but... Okay, so the Chain Gunner I've discussed. I don't really like him, and I've talked about the Revenant as well. I'm not a fan of it because of the way the rockets seek. But that's okay, honestly. You know, it has, it has the AoE, it has the rockets, they do a lot of damage. Only, again, only the boss beforehand, the Cyber Demon, was capable of doing that. So even that's not absolutely terrible. But it's still an upgrade and something different from the other enemies that were available. And it seems that's a trend that all of the new enemies had. They were all something a little different. Which is a good thing. Turn those lights on. Okay. Well, I have no idea what I've done here other than turn some lights on. Something caused that back here. Oops. Something had caused that to lower. Yeah, there it was. Okay, so. This is a secret. Hey, Sussmith! Yeah, Final Doom, actually, and I'm kind of discussing some Doom stuff with it. There we go. So that was an unusual secret. That's a switch. Makes no sound, no indication that it's a switch, but brings that down. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of Doom mods, but this is an official one, which is why I'm running it. This is Final Doom. This was the official map pack made by Team TNT, and they had actually been making this particular wad for a while, and they were getting near completion when id Software decided to purchase it for resale and have them finish it off. 
And then Plutonia was basically done by two different guys. Or by two guys from it, not the entire team. I was looking that stuff up. I'm kind of discussing the various enemies today, if I can keep my train of thought, which I keep losing every time I'm getting distracted by these enemies. It's not your fault, it's my fault, as usual. But, Doom 2 just has a whole new set of rules for their enemies. Okay. This is about the only one that's not a wholly different type of enemy. And even then, it still is kind of a new thing. Because it lets them have that absolute danger of the Baron of Hell... A bit earlier in the game, it has all the damage of the Baron of Hell, does the same types of attacks and everything, literally the same type of attacks. <laughs> Windows, nice. But, has only half the hit points. So it's more manageable. And thus they can throw it in a little bit more often. So it's still dangerous. God damn it. Die already! I hate those so much. The other new enemies include the Mancumbus. That's that big fat demon that throws two fire. Yeah, there, right there. One of them. Come on. Die. Thank you. Yeah. This guy is one of the new enemies. And that right there is what makes him different. Instead of throwing just one fireball at you... He throws two, which means if you're sidestepping to avoid the fireballs, well, if you're not paying attention to which direction the second one goes, you run right into it. And that was a clever stuff. That was just a nice little clever idea. Why does that have the blue seat? There, yeah, well, whatever. It works. <clears throat> Another of the new enemies was the Arch Vial. Which we've seen before. <coughs> Whoopsie. He's the one that not only raises dead alien or aliens, demons, but has that fire attack that isn't a projectile or anything. It just hits you if it hits you. That's an interesting spot for one. This is an interesting map design thematically. Of course, this is also done by that guy, whichever one it is, who doesn't like to give away health. So there's not a lot of health packs in here. There's one over here, I know. Where is it? Where is it? Over here. There it is. Okay. Hey, Xanth. Welcome to it. Ah, perfect. Save scum time. So yeah, the new enemies in Doom 2 are upgrades. They all increase the danger. So it's kind of well done, and I approve. That's how you're supposed to do a good sequel. You build on top of the previous game and turn things... Oh, hi there! That's bad. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that! Don't put traps in like that, especially not the damn chain gunners! But yeah, you're supposed to upgrade things. Make things a little bit more dangerous. And of course, they only gave us one new weapon. But ho ho ho, what a weapon. The super shotgun. That is a great way of dealing with many of the demons. Especially the stronger ones. And at least... Oh, God. Hi there. At least the chain gunners are not accurate from a distance. Can you imagine how bad they'd be if they could actually hit you consistently from a distance? If they didn't have that wide bullet spread? God. Every time I think I've killed them, more of them pop out. You over there shot me. 
Health, please. There's some, but I need to get up to it. I saw you up there. There you are. They are part bunny. Yeah. Yeah, they're just breeding like rabbits. Wait, what? Where? Okay. Health! Yay! Feels good, man! I love Doom. I love Doom 2 so much. Like, even those new enemies that I have complained about, they're good. Oh, dang it. I do wish they'd included at least one more new weapon, though. Rather than just the... Super Shotgun. Not that the Super Shotgun's not a good addition. Oh, I mean, that was rapidly a favorite of most people who were playing the game. I say as I continue to use the regular shotgun. Because the regular shotgun is that effective against the small targets. You've seen me use the big one against the big targets. Oh, boy. Alrighty. Good. That la that did well. Climb up those... That's one of these uh, really thin... You can actually make one pixel per stair staircases. So you can have walls that you practically can't tell that you can scale like that. Because all that matters is the height. As long as it's a certain height, the character will step up to it. You, know, you needed to be able to do that. So you can have these really, really thin staircases that you can't actually stand on, really. But, you know, for video games, rip, up you go. And yes, you got to make that sound. Rip! There we go. Thought there'd be one somewhere. I'm honestly surprised I'm not getting a bunch of secret area notifications doing this. Alright, good enough. Hi there! Someone ordered the delivery of Caco Demons. Why am I using the shotgun? This is what I should be using against Kakos. Main part about Doom is figuring out what weapon to use against who and what targets to pick when. Yay, key card. And again, okay, see the wheel texture there. That's good. I approve of that wheel texture. Alrighty. More ammo. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, there's the other one. The other new enemy that they added. The pain elemental. Instead of spawning fireballs, it spawns lost souls. Again, a uh, different mechanic entirely. Wholly different playstyle. And more annoying. Duck hunt music. Come on. Because then you're just going to be like the dog laughing. I know you. Yup. Not at all surprised. Ah, 
Ow. I'm actually getting hit by these, and I don't like that. Not saying much, because I'm focused on trying to kill all these guys. Are you dead? Are you guys done? No, you're not. Oh, God! That might have crushed me, too. I don't know. What is the point of that? At least I got some health back. No, really. What's, what is this there for? Okay, I've turned on the conveyor belt, apparently. Not a... Not a bad level. This is definitely more interesting than I was expecting. Hadn't seen a warehouse level like this before. Oh, hello! Yeah, you're bad. You're bad. You go away. And see, even the reverence as... Uh, and there's an arch vial. Even the Revenants, as annoying as they are, once you know about how to handle their rockets... Ah! Ow! Did I not handle the rocket well? Okay. Yeah, once you know how to handle their rockets, they're not too terribly bad. And those guys... Oh. You just kind of got to get out of sight for. Because as long as you're in a direct line of sight, they'll hit you. You get around the corner, you're fine. So I do generally approve of the new enemies in this. Yeah, I'm not going directly in yet because there's some health somewhere that I missed and would like to get my hands on. Other than that, yeah, I'm ready to go. There we go, there's a couple. That was one. And no, I have no idea what's up with this level. I mean, it's interesting. Oh, whoops, I, I hit the switch. Let me out. Or let me in. Thank you. Get a little bit more health before I'm gone. Hey! Hello there! I have no idea how to pronounce that. Held genocide? Sounds about right. Yeah, the arch files definitely can be annoying. I don't mind them too much, to be entirely honest. As long as they're not in a big, wide open area. Like that one kind of was. Even then, sometimes, and it doesn't happen often enough to be reliable. You can get killed doing it, as I have repeatedly. The super shotgun will stun them. For a little bit, and get them out of their animation. Yeah! Level done! No secrets, no items. God, I sucked on that one. Central processing! Here we are, level 20. And again, we spawn in with enemies attacking. That is not something you want to have happen in your maps. Come on, come on. So these maps have been kind of all over the place, unfortunately. I mean, it's still, still very impressive, high quality. No major glitches, which is something you can't say about most of the maps, at least. I mean, even some of the master levels for Doom 2 have problems. Even some of the basic levels in Doom 2 have problems. Interesting. So now we're in an office environment. 
I mean, kudos to them for trying with stuff like that, making the chairs. That's one of those map workarounds that I really like. And probably was inspired by Duke Nukem... Well, actually, wait. When did this game come out versus Duke Nukem 3D? Because it was stuff like that that Duke Nukem 3D also did a lot. For, like, the cars and such. Which makes me think this game had to have come out after that. Or this map pack. Because they're using a lot of Duke Nukem 3D tricks in this. Which I have nothing wrong with. I mean, for example, this chair is made up of... It's the floor. It just They have to bring the floor up. That's why there's nothing underneath it. Same with the computer desk here. The desk is part of the floor. This is another floor section. They're just raising it up. The base Doom did not often use that for decorations. So... It's one of those lovely workarounds, and I love my workarounds. I had a Duke Nukem 3D mouse pad, but I used it so much it wore out. Yeah, because you got that with the original box version of the game. I've worn out many, many mouse pads over my time. Hell, the one I'm using right now. Ow! Oh, dang it! Got clipped! The one I'm using right now, honestly, is getting really bad. It's a uh, Nintendo DS one that I got at E3, like, ten years ago when I was actually at E3. More than ten years ago. Yeah, yes, thank you for killing the one for me. I like it when you do that. So I'll have to find another one of my mouse pads somewhere to replace this with. Ow, ow, ow! And again, this seems like the same map maker as the previous map. Because there's not a lot of health around. And this guy doesn't like giving out health. This is something you have to be careful of when you're making maps. And you're testing them over and over yourself. You know where everything is. You know how to get through them quickly and efficiently. So you tend to underestimate how much health a new player may need. Even if they're skilled at the game, just simply not knowing where enemies are. They can get surprised once in a while and just take an extra bit of damage. And you're sitting there going, but it's just imps. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of imps, but it's just imps. You shouldn't need health for those. Yeah, yeah, you, you do. You really, really do. Now, several games came with various mouse pads. I have no mouse. Or, yeah, I have no mouse. Yes. I have no mouth and I must scream came with a mouse pad as well, except that one wasn't one of the foam top ones. That was one of the harder top ones. Like, I think it had one of the 3D images on it. I don't remember. It's been a long time. And honestly, the person... Ah, see that right there. Just a little bit of extra automatic damage. And the person I bought the game from kept the mouse pad because they really liked it. They, were they wanted to get rid of the game, but they loved the mouse pad, so... Oh well. Again, no health in here. Yeah, I see you, Baron. The whole splash damage to the ground thing is something you can't do normally in this game. That's only because I have the up-down access from the mo from the uh, engine port. Or source port. You could hit walls! But you couldn't just shoot the ground and do damage to the enemies. 
Not until Quake. Okay, so what did that do for me? I didn't pick up any keys or anything. I'm missing... There we go. Oh, God! How did that miss? Oh, it didn't. Oh, how did that miss? It didn't. Ah, not good. Not good. Still, there is something I must be missing in here. Ah, this little sacrificial altar in the middle of their room. Yes, Doom Slayer needs food badly. Let's call him what he is. The Doom Slayer. Alright, I've been through there. There's nothing. Cool. Well then. There's no way out either. Time to smash my face against walls. Good old Doom tradition right here. Oh, there we go. There's something that happened. Now, with the Lost Souls, one of the reasons you want to be using the chain gun is when they're flying at you, any damage you see stuns them, stops them from attacking. Any damage whatsoever, they just stop moving. So that's why the chain gun is so effective against them. Oh, this is going to be bad. Although, I do like the fact that the floor is raising and that's lowering at the same time. Priorities. Aw, oh, yeah. Again, this is Final Doom, TNT, of Evolution Wad. Final Doom is available on Steam. Um, on GOG, I don't think it's available separately, but if you buy Doom 2, you can get it that way. On Steam, I did double check, it is available on its own. Or you can buy the pack with Doom, Doom 2, Final Doom, and Master Levels. You cannot get match levels without that pack. So, if you're a fan of Doom, I would recommend that one. If you don't already have about a dozen other copies somewhere else like me. Yeah, I have three life. If anything sneezes on me, I'm dead. There it is, yeah, Chain Gunner. Yep, 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 of course. Sure, yeah, no problem. Okay, that's better. Because I'm terrified. Now my commentary keeps stopping because I'm too busy trying to not die. Yeah, now what are you going to do? Uh-huh. That's what I thought. 
Whoa, whoa, no. No. Oh, what? Oh, I did not expect that wall to have come down, too. Ooh, evil trap. Evil. I should be talking more. I'm sorry. I just get so into the trying not to die when I'm low on health. And it doesn't help. As you can see, it does not help at all. Concentrating? Nothing. Nothing at all. I still get hit with ambushes. Ah, damn it. Come on, back down. Back down. Back down. Come back down. There we go. Back up. Whoo! Tried to hit me, but didn't. Now, are you just going up and down now? I think you are. That's cool, though. I have no problem with something just going up, down, up, down, up, down here. Okay, this one's good. There we go. That hurts. Kill it! God dang it! Survived the first shot. Not what I wanted to see. Alright, now you guys can come down and get me. Hell with you all. Fight the Revenant up there, please. Do my bidding. No, no, don't come down here. Don't you come down here. Bad Revenant. Bad Skellington. There's going to be so much death waiting for me. So much death up here waiting for me. Told you. Oh, did I tell you? Oh, crap. Alright. Well, at least I got a red key card now. And more shotgunners. The shotgunners... I, see, I don't care about the imps. I don't even... Dang it! Yes, highway to hell, exactly. <sighs> Nuts! And I don't have a lot of bullets. See, the imps I don't care about, it's the automatic damage like that. Oh, crap. What did that just do? I found a switch. I flipped a switch. What did it do? Oh, cool. Of course. Why? Why wouldn't it be? Why would there not be a Kako Demon and then a Lost Soul behind it? But you know what there is also? Health. Alright, is there another caco over here? Nope. Can I climb up this? Yes. Am I going to get attacked by something when I pop up here? No, good. Son of a bitch. And it's chain gunners again! God, I hate that enemy so much. Team TNT seems to love them. I have a whole four hit points more than I had before. But I have a lot of bullets now. Oh, hey. There we go. 14 hit points now. So that's what that did. I approve. Let's try this again. And again, I'm not supposed to be able to look up like that. See, I'm down to one because of the chain gunners. You cannot dodge the chain gun attack. It just hits you. Which is freaking awful! K 
Okay, better. Now I'm going to die down here. Where are you? Oh, that lowered all of them. So even the ones down there got lowered. Oh, it didn't lower those doors, though. There we go. Yes, being further away... Oh! Dang it! More of them were behind me still. Being further away does lessen the amount of damage you take. Doesn't remove it. But they don't hit you as often. The shotgunners can only get you with one. Again, no health. Ammo, no health. And even armor doesn't actually help. Because you still take damage from health. You only take half the health damage if you have armor. But you still take damage from health. There we go. I think I might finally be somewhat ro remotely safe. Health. Oh, of course, more of them jumped out. Why wouldn't they? And there went the health I picked up. Yeah, you are. Oh. <gasps> Yes! Berserker pack! Full health. Well, 300. 100 health. Blah, blah, blah. Finally! And yes, you'll notice that it has, and I'm repeating things from previous days, you'll notice that the health has that red cross symbol on it. It was removed in later ones, but this is one of the early versions, so hey. Now you're dead. Okay, well, I don't need those sh- Ooh. What? You bastard. God damn, annoying. I really hate these ambush maps. That this map, this map pack is just full of them. <sighs> okay, is this the one I already went? No, it's not. Gee, I wonder what wall is gonna drop as I approach this door. See what I mean? See what I mean? And I can't see a dang thing. Is there another wall drop? Sound like another wall dropped. Nope, okay. Yeah, another wall dropped. Freaking A. Yes, we get it. You like your ambushes. They aren't fun. Stand here and wait for the teleporter to stop buzzing. This is such a fun game, everybody. Look at all the progress we're able to make. Because we have to stand there and wait for that to stop.
Mm. Also, I am getting a stomach ache at the moment. I don't know why. Not feeling well. It's not vertigo. Might be something's been going down. Just people living with don't feel too well lately either, so might have just gotten sick. Yay! That's uh, not fun for playing this game. Oh, hey, look. Another teleport trap. That is so amusing. If that's what your map design has to come down to, making teleporter traps all the time, just stop. Yeah, screw those barrels. I don't like them, I don't need them. So, somewhere, there has to be a blue key. So I can't get into this door here without one. And now that suit's gone too. Lovely. No sign of a blue key back here anywhere. I've not seen any trace of a blue key. Wasn't one back here. Oh, we're going to do this crap again. This is, and you notice we got the back and forth thing going on also, which I also dislike. I don't mind you're using keys to make us explore the map, but I got the red key over here, and oh look, there's a yellow key door. The red key went somewhere completely different. Look, I need the yellow key to open this door, so I have to go through finding where the blue key is and then come back here when I get the yellow key which is probably going to be behind the blue key door no sign of a blue key God, why? That needs the blue. Alright, well, screw it. I'll have to reload the save. Nope, nothing here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is map, what, 20? I'm going to look something up real quick because there's a version of this game of this map or um of this map pack that had a glitch in one of the levels. Okay, that it's not this level that has it. I just wanted to make sure, because this should be the patched version as well. I have the later version of the Final Doom. It came from, my version came from the id anthologies, 
but I had the later, more rare copy of it. So, yeah. I just wanted to double check, that's all. I did not see where the key card was, just confirming that there isn't a bug. Even though it sure as hell feels like there's one. There's... There's no... Uh-huh. Right. That extra map. Oh, look! That wall there, that looks different. It is different. But it won't open! Why won't it freaking open? <sighs> it feels like I'm missing a trigger somewhere. I have to be missing a trigger somewhere. As you see, there's spots on the map. But I see nothing to open these spots. Aha! I knew that was a switch. It's just one you had to shoot. Oh, yeah, this is another of the new enemies added in uh, Doom 2. And you'll notice that it has faster quote, fireballs, unquote. It's actually shooting plasma beam, plasma at you. Same as your plasma gun. But it does not fire them as quickly, and you'll note that they're green instead of your blue. And I'd mentioned this in a previous episode. The reason for that is if it shot yours, the blue ones, they wouldn't... They, they would damage each other. Whereas the green ones, well, the arachnotrons are immune to the green ones. Other enemies aren't. But the Arachnotrons are, so that way they don't shoot each other. Just fun little tips on how the game was done, that's all. Okay, that's gonna be fun, not fun. Yeah, awesome! I love that! Let's have a couple enemies... ...that... ...are there right when you fall and chew you apart. Amazing. And again, not a whole lot of available health. Fortunately, the shotgun seems to stagger them just right. Dang it. Keep moving. Gotta move faster. Gotta move faster. See, and I'm trapped. I'm immediately... I fall down there. I'm immediately trapped. That's not good. It's not cool. That's not fun. There's the blue key card. I don't see any way to get up to that. Get out of the poison. The suit has already worn off by now. And it still wants us to run through poison stuff with minimal health. There, at least now I can see. Why did that come up with two secret areas? I don't know.
long as I'm invincible, do as much damage as possible. No oh, crap. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Yeah, that's not a trap at all. You know what else that isn't? A yellow key card. There's a yellow key card. Gee, that's not going to come down. I wonder if that was it. Oh, hey, you know what? At least it didn't make me run back to here. That's not so bad. That's not a back and forth, back and forth thing then. This is not one of the better designed maps, in my opinion. Hey, thank you very much, Z! And there, you actually gotta see the thing without the loading error preventing it from popping up. You too can get a special name badge just by subscribing. Glad it worked this time, too. The last time you did it, it was during one of the loading screens for XCOM. So my computer was loading and it couldn't really load the graphics properly. Oh god, hello. There we go. Taking a whole bunch of damage here. Hope I can still survive this. So what'd you think of the subscription thing there? Wow, that... Yeah, that worked. Mm, lovely. Alrighty. Okay, that works. And of course. Oh, crap. Yeah, yeah, that. See what I mean about those things? I don't mind them when they're in a place you can actually kill them. That one really wasn't. Because it was in a wide open area. There's nowhere for me to duck and dodge its attack. Just had to pepper it with all of the rockets. Go perfect. That you really need. Thank you, game. So, what's down here? Nothing there. Ah, okay. I, I guess that works. And we should be getting ready to exit this level. Yay! God damn, that one took forever. Oh, for crying out loud! No, of course it can't be over yet. Why would it be over now? And there had to be a shotgunner behind the door. And a bunch of chain gunners, because of course... Dead. Dead. Yep. Mmm. Mmm.
Yeah, this is fun. This is fun. -a. Not one of my favorite maps at all. It's a shame because there were some really good ones yesterday. Oh, okay. I didn't even see you up there, Revenant. Thank you. You're getting plasmid. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, those missed, didn't they? You dead? You dead? No, guess not. No, well, let's go find out. Hi, <laughs> Vey. Well, this is some health. Just a little one. I like this, too. These things are fairly easy to stagger. And the amount of time it takes for them to charge up and shoot is about the same amount of time as it takes for you to fire your shotgun. So, yeah. You're in, okay, you're not invisible. You're just really hard to see over there. There you go. Again, I'm not actually supposed to be able to look down this far, but screw it. I t ooh, nice. I turned off jumping and such that this engine allows. I don't think that's necessary, but... I'm going to look up and down. Oh, come on. Why? Oh, God! Screw you! Oh, you've got to be kidding! Yeah, that's the first time I've busted this thing out. I'm dead. That's the wrong weapon. I'm gonna die. Yup, yup, yup. Yeah. Ooh, screw this level. Oh, I hate this level so much. At where? Oh, okay. One of you survived. And this has nothing but ammo. Awesome. Sure, let's trigger everything, why don't we? That's fine. Everything's fine. And I'm way back here. That's an odd place to... Okay! What is going on? That was an interesting set of teleporters. You guys can't get through that, can you? Ha ha! I'm immune to lost souls!
Ow. 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 Well, it was nice having ammo for a while. Uh, gone now. Yeah, yep, yep. Ah, that works. Mm, beautiful, lovely, excellent. I love it. I think I might legitimately hate every part of this level. I love the lost souls fighting each other. That's always fun. Come on. There you go. Okay, that's taken care of. Next batch. Actually, I should just rocket you guys down there if I can. Yeah, that was great! Let's peek over the rocket to face. So those ones are dead. Excellent. Next! Ay, ay, ay. Those are dead. Crap. How am I supposed to get rid of that thing? Too close for comfort. I hate being reduced to using these. I really don't like wasting plasma, but at this point, that's what's left. Oh, God! Okay, that thing is pretty much going to be out of the way for now. Hopefully, I can get this... Yep, go back up here. Ammo. It's a bad spot for it. Ammo. How did you not die earlier? Alright. So things are finally dying. This part right here could be its own level. I'm not kidding on that either. Legitimately, this part of the map could have been its own level. It did not need this. That was too far down.
Ah. What was that pain elemental? Oops. Okay, that should be clear now. More ammo, more ammo. Okay, I think I finally, finally taken care of all this crap. So where am I supposed to go? Where's the exit? Switch back to a normal gun. This whole thing goes down, but only the middle one is the one you can press to bring it down. I heard some shots behind me. That, I'm pretty sure, is where I'm supposed to go. Oh, okay. So this opened up. I can go further this way now. Am I just going in a big circle? There we go. Freaking come on. Why? Just, just why? Why any of this? What am I? What I get stuck on something? Oh, I can't actually get up there. No. What the heck is blocking me here? Like there were actual things physically blocking me that I could not see. Why? Well, this is my least favorite map in TNT Evolution so far, and it's been a very long one. Yay! Now where am I? Oh, finally I'm out! Oh, God! 34 minutes! Well, if the rest of these maps are this freaking long, I'm gonna be here- Hey, look! The vista opening ahead looks real damn familiar. It smells familiar, too. Like fried excrement. You didn't like this place before, and you sure as hell ain't planning to like it now. The more you brood on it, the madder you get. Hefting your gun, an evil grin trickles onto your face. Time to take some names. God, this writing is bad. And again, immediately getting attacked from the start. No time to save, no time to breathe, just immediate attacks. I like the fact that there's actually artwork added now. And more chain gunners, gotta have chain gunners. Heaven forbid we have an enemy up there that's not a freaking chain gunner. Hit the thing, please. Thank you. I appreciate that. Good use of the props. Came with Doom.
Remember, you're not supposed to look up, so have a good time trying to find those damn things to shoot. I am again using the GZ Doom engine. I use the most comp the most recent version that was on their site when I started playing. I don't know if it's been updated since then. I doubt it. GZ Doom being a continuation of Z Doom engine. Good stuff. Always been my favorite. Not that Doomsday is bad. That's another good engine out there, but GZ Doom, Z Doom is a little bit more accurate, whereas Doomsday, which I think was originally J Doom, a bit flashier. I actually really like it for Hexen. Hexen and Heretic, the Doomsday looks really good on it. All right, while well, I'm alive. <sighs> Of course, of course, I do not like this map. Well, I'm still mad from the previous map. I can't judge this map yet. This map hasn't done anything terribly offensive yet. It will, but it hasn't yet. How do you know it will? Uh, it just has that stench to it. Yeah, I'm going to have to go into this middle area. There's no way around it. And let me guess. I take damage here. Does... Yep. 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 I take damage in there. I'm thinking... Like, I could very well be screwed. In all seriousness. Where did you come from? Oh dear God, they're up there. That's fun. And that is a glitch that he showed up on top of me there. He's really not supposed to. If they're up top there, they're supposed to stay up there. Health? No, of course not. Why would it be health? <gasps> health? Notice we got different graphics on this side than we had on the other side for the window. You know what? That is a perfect place to use this. Perfect. Could not be better. Ow! Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Of course, why wouldn't it be? Okay. I really hate this. Is it just automatically taking damage down there? Could not not take that damage. Now, this is even worse than some of the other maps with the low health available. This map has a lot of automatic damage with the floors that you just can't avoid. You have to go down there. And then you have to sit and wait until... 
it rose up properly. Hi there. And then in the other one, where the safe zone was covered in hell knights. Like that. That area. Perfect. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm. I'm okay. I'm okay. So I did not have to run, jump down into there. That's not a problem then. At least I did not have to yet. And oh yeah, we're doing the doom technique of you run forward and sidestep to get a little bit more momentum and you can make jump cross gaps like that. Okay, there's someone down there. Now remember, on nightmare difficulty, the enemies move three times as fast and respawn. That's why I will never play it on that difficulty. I like a challenge, but that's beyond a challenge. That's just some hardcore BS. Where'd you go? <sighs> cool! Telefragged! And I got a key! Again, why the red key first? That's supposed to be the last key you get. Like These are actually kind of supposed to be in order. The red door is usually the one that guards the exit. So the fact that I keep getting the red key first in these maps is... You have so many Doom conventions that you use a lot. And then you miss ones like that. You subvert them intentionally. Why? I know you guys know Doom maps. Like you have definitely shown your aptitude to them and your knowledge of them and how to use the tropes of them. But then you do stuff like that. There you are. Ah, it can't shoot through that one. Okay. Should be able to, but that's an actual wall. Oh, that's going to suck. <sighs> of course. I do love the Ban Cumbus enemies. They are some of my favorites. Because they are legitimately new challenge without being complete, complete BS. They're just funny. Whoa. I knew those would be a staircase. Where? Raza Fragon.
There you are. Okay, so what am I missing down here? Something. There we go. Okay, I got the map again. These guys do love giving us maps. And opening doors behind us with chain gunners. Bad. That does appear to be it. Oh, hi. Did I get a new key yet? No, I did not. Nor does it look like I'm going to here. Well, great. Did it really just have this to give me the map to show me? Yeah, you're not getting the key here. You have to go around. Where is it? So what made the noise just now? It shouldn't be anything. Oh, okay. There's, there's the yellow key. Don't know why. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hi over there. Go away. Oh, this map gives me a headache. What? Oh, ugh, you freaking... Why? Why? Where did you guys even come from? Well, if I really needed to, there's 100% health down there. Just wondering where you guys were. I didn't expect two of you. So I actually really like the Hell Knight as an enemy. Because the Barons of Hell really aren't that tough. You know, they're, they're, they're not entirely scary. They just have a lot of hit points because they're the first episode's boss. So having a weaker version of them is just fun. Of course. platforms kind of want to jump across to that would be kind of a secret area to just jump across to it don't you freaking no no dead yeah of course <laughs> of course <sighs> freaking hate 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 this is so stupid Where did that come from? Why is that there? I do not uh, know. See, I'm more frustrated today. 
which is a shame. These levels are getting longer also, so it's going to be several more days before I beat this, I think. Which is a bit of a shame. Because I'm looking forward to playing the next one, even though it's of an engine I hate even more than this. Ah, no. I love this engine. What am I talking about? Next engine, not such a fan of. But yeah, I'm doing a theme block. So the next game should be pretty easy to figure out. It will not be the second Pluton the second part of Final Doom. It's not gonna be It's not gonna be the Plutonia Wad. That'll come later. No, oh, dang it. You know what? Hold on. Let's just run across and grab that and see what happens. Oh hey, nothing. And again, I could run across to that right now, but since I don't have the suit, it would actually probably kill me if I did. You know what? Hell with this. You die. You die. You die. You die. Anyone else? You die. You die. You die. Good. Everyone's dead. Now I can do this. Now, how's it going to come back down? Now the fun part begins. Will I be able to make it down? Or will I be able to get on it before my suit wears off? And the answer is no. Fortunately, minimal damage. Come back up. Okay, this thing just goes up, down, up, down, up, down now. I guess I could have stayed up there and, j and just jumped across. Would have saved 10 health. Ow! I almost expected the walls behind me to fall. In fact, no almost. I fully expected those walls behind me to fall. Now, let me guess. Yep, there it is. Now, even better... That last one that's going to come down is where the exit is. Ow. Oh, you blocked me. Wow. Okay, I'll take that. I was about to complain about how unimportant that room was, and I got a freaking megasphere from it. So yeah, no more complaining about health for a little while. That's an honest to God baron of hell. So he'll take a few more hits. He's the exact same as the Hell Knight, just twice the hit points. Which, well, when you do as much damage as I can do, it's not such a bad thing. That, on the other hand... Crap. Too bad their explosions don't hurt each other. 
That's why they have different. That's why they have the different rocket launchers. So their projectiles don't hurt themselves or each other. There we go. Alright, looks like that was it. Even though it totally looks like right there it should be a secret. Alright. <sighs> Where the hell? Okay, well I guess that's not... Ah, fucking hell. I figured that'd be the exit after we ran through the blue key area, but no, no. Well, you know what I can do, though? I can go, fuck you, and I'm out. What? 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 Oh! So that's where the other one disappeared, too. Wondering why it wasn't down there. It wandered its ass in the freaking teleporter. <sighs> why am I using that? Um, hello? Okay. Uh-huh. I don't see how I'm supposed to open that door over there. Great. I love the key. Can you do... There we go. That happened. Can't see a bloody thing. Exit, 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 please. Of course not. Why would it be? So we got an altar. Now is the door open? Now the door's opened. Of course. This is my last level for the day. Not because I'm getting frustrated at the game, because I'm not feeling well. Unfortunately, I'm as I mentioned, I'm getting a bit sick by the feel of it. I'm feeling queasy. So, boom. No, of course it's not that freaking easy. Of course there has to be more to it than this. And this is one of the problems I'm having with these maps now. It's like, this is the end. Nope, we got a whole new map, whole other map worth of content. It's like, sure, we could have ended it. But we're going to make you suffer just a little bit more. That's not what I wanted. Like, this map should be over. There is no reason this is continuing.
back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Just end already. Look at this! This area is so much bigger than the rest of that map was. They managed to make a pretty decent map back there. And there's a cyber demon. That is a cyber demon on the other side of the wall. See it? See it? You can barely see the horns. But that's a cyber demon. Like I said, they had this nice... The first part of this map, that was a fine map. Wasn't fantastic, but definitely worked. Oh, Jesus, it's open. But that wasn't good enough. So they had to open this entire section of the map here. Where are you? Oh, God, what? Did you walk? Is there two of you? No, you just ran backwards for some reason. Die already. Please, fall down. There you go. There you go. Please explode. Thank you. Oh, crap. Alright. So now... What am I supposed to deal with? What's in this box? Oh, good. You don't get hurt coming through here, at least. And there's some health over here, so that's good. Great. Where did he just disappear? <sighs> Exit. Good. Good. I don't even care about the rest of it. I'm out. I'm done. Habitat. And again, these no these levels have no connection to them. And a whole bunch of enemies just waiting for me to spawn so they can kill me. <sighs> it's okay to make smaller maps. That nice, tight, confined map that the first part of that map was was fine. But for some reason, it's gotten to the point where these map makers are like, no, no, we need to make two maps. For every map. Why? What is the point of this? So we can make a bigger map. So that's why. Obviously. So we can make a longer game. A harder game. Uh, I don't know. It just makes me think you guys don't know how to end a map. Seriously. You can kind of see themes of the various map makers too. And I... It's just estimation, but it's like, well, these maps... I mean, especially since a lot of these have had the same type of chair. Yeah, you copy-pasted that chair. Different different locations. But the fact that it's like, okay, now that you've finished what you think is the level, now we've got a whole larger part of the level to deal with. And they both have the same style of chair in the map. So I think those were made by the same person. But we just have this thing where... As a game, I don't think this one is as good as Doom 2. Because these maps, they're creative. Some of them are creative. Some of them aren't. And yes, there's bad maps in Doom 2. That's not a surprise. There's just no consistency here. Ugh. At any rate, I shall see you guys tomorrow when we will continue... Hopefully finish a few more maps, otherwise I'm going to be here all damn week. Not that a week of playing Doom would be a horrible thing, would it? Take care, Internet.
and enjoy the games you play.